What's going on guys, Bills here from Achievement Land and I'm here with an Achievement Walkthrough for Red Bow. This game released onto the Xbox One today, January 15, 2020 for a price of $4.99. I'm going to run you through this game and get you all the achievements and it takes about a half an hour. So we're going to start a new game. There's going to be quite a bit of talking in this game and you could just mash A through the talking to get through it faster. Once she's out of bed and you're in control, you're going to leave the room. You're going to walk over here to the bookcase and there's a key. So grab that. Now we're going to go to the door. And we're going to use the key. you got to hit start and go into your inventory and then select the key. You'll get an achievement for that. Press A through the dialogue and then just walk up all the way to the end of the street. You're going to talk to this guy over here. Just uh, keep meshing A through all the dialogue. Once you're done talking, you'll get an achievement, and then we're going to head over to the left. Now come over here and go to this house. First you're going to look in the window. Then you're going to check the note on the door. The door is locked, so head back to the right. When you go to leave this area, the door will open up. So now we can go back and go inside the house. You're going to automatically talk to this guy, just uh, skip through the dialogue. When you're done talking, you'll get an achievement. Now head up to the top right and click on the sink. And then you'll get another achievement. And then we can get out of here. Now we're going to head back. And we're going to talk to this guy again. Once you're done, you're going to go back to the left. You're going to go up the hole in the fence here to the garbage can. And inside is a photo. So take that. You'll get an achievement. And now we're going to head back. And we're going to go down. At the very bottom, there's a ribbon. So grab that. Which will give you an achievement. Now make your way back up and then go back to the left. Now we're going to make a save here. So hit start and go to the middle thing and that's save. And now we're going to go into the house. You're going to give her the picture. So just stand in front and uh, open your inventory and click on the picture. After you're done talking, you'll get an achievement. And now we're going to head out of here. And then you're going to look through the window, which will give you another achievement. And now we're going to head over to the right. You're going to go up 
And in this basket, you're going to put that picture. And then talk to Kubi. And there we go. That's going to give us an achievement. And that's going to end the chapter. But uh, we're actually going to quit once you uh, have control. So hit start and go to the last one and quit. Now go to continue. And this will bring us back to our last save that we made. Now go to the right and go to the basket. And this time put the ribbon in instead. It's going to end the chapter and give you an achievement. And now we're done with chapter one. All right, now that you have control, go down and you're going to go all the way to the left and you're going to go out the back door. Now we're by the shops. You're going to get an achievement just for going over here. Click on this magazine rack and you'll get another achievement. And then go to the left and grab some fireworks. And then we're going to go inside. Now the phone's going to start ringing. So go answer it. And you'll get another achievement. Now make your way around to the other side. On the back wall, there's a ladder. You're going to push it to the left. And then you're going to click on it. And we'll get the lighter. Now we can go upstairs. Go left and click on these photos on the wall. And you'll get another achievement. And then go into this room. Click on the window. So you can see the cat. Which will give you another achievement. Then go to the stove next to it. We're actually going to hit start. Go to the inventory. Put the fireworks in it. And now you're going to hit start inventory. And use the lighter. fireworks are going to scare the cat who's going to drop the key. You also get an achievement. Now we're going to head downstairs and go outside and go get the key. It's right out in the street. There's the key. So grab that. You'll get an achievement. And we're going to go back inside and upstairs. And you're going to use the key right here on this door. Inside is this girl you got to talk to, so just keep talking to her until you're done. When you're done talking, she's going to leave and you'll get an achievement. Click on the toilet up here and we'll get the manhole remover. And now we're going to go outside again. So just keep going down. Head over to the right. And we're going to use the manhole opener on the manhole. You're going to open it up and get an achievement. Then we can head down there. Now go up and talk to this guy. After you're done, you're going to make your way back up. You're going to come over here and shut the power off. Just click on the power box. And now we're going to go inside. And we're going to go upstairs. 
Go to the left and grab the photos off the wall. And now go up and click on the TV and we'll get some power cables. And now come down and go into the storage room. And we're gonna talk to her again. Once she's gone, just pause the game and make another save. And now we're gonna head out to the street. Go back down the manhole. Now go up to the TV over here and we're gonna use the power cable on it. And once that's connected, we're gonna go back up and we're going to turn the power on. You'll get an achievement for it, and we're going to head back down. And now go talk to the guy. That's going to give you an achievement and also you're going to die. It will bring you to the menu and you're going to continue and we'll go back to our save. And now we're going to head back to the streets again. You're going to go back into the manhole and this time you're just going to talk to them. After they're done talking, you're going to get a little closer and you're going to go inside your inventory and you're going to give her the photo. Once you're done talking, you'll get an achievement and that's going to end chapter two. So now we're on chapter three. You're going to head out of your room and you're going to go to the left and this time you're going to go to the sink. It's going to bring you on the boat and you'll get an achievement. Go all the way to the top left and there's a fishing pole over here. Take that and then go to the opposite side on the right. And you're going to use that fishing pole on this oil barrel. It's going to give you a key. Now we can head inside the cabin. You're going to talk to the captain. Once you're done, you'll get an achievement. Then grab this bottle over here, and then we can head out of here. Go to this lock down here and we're going to use our key. You're going to use the L bar key. And now we can go down. You're going to start talking to Umbi. So just uh, skip through the dialogue as usual. After a bit of talking, you'll get an achievement. But then you want to just keep talking to him. You're going to talk to him again. And just keep uh, clicking on him until he keeps saying the same thing. Alright, there we go. Now you're going to go over here to this table. Grab the crowbar. Come up here and use the crowbar on the box. going to open up a hole in the wall so we can go through. So go through and then go to this lock and we're going to use the key on it. And now we're going to go over here. Now you're going to save your game here. 
and then go to the back wall and there's a switch. You're going to keep hitting the switch over and over again. Eventually it's going to let Umbi out and he's going to kill you. It's going to end the game and you'll get an achievement. Now just hit continue, it will bring us right back where we were. Now we're going to go back out. And back in the cabin. We're going to talk to this guy again. After you're done talking, you'll get an achievement. Now we're going to head out of here. We're going to head back down. And we're going to talk to Umbi. And when you're done talking to him, you're going to get an achievement, and that's going to end that chapter. Now this is actually the very end right here, the end of the game. It's going to play a little cutscene. Once you can start moving, you're going to go up to that lighthouse and go inside. You'll get another achievement too, once you can start moving. Now all we have to do is talk to two people and the game is over. So talk to this guy. Once you're done, you're going to go up the ladder here. And now you're going to talk to this one. Muma or whatever. <laughs> Once you're done talking, it will bring you back to your room, and you're going to get the achievement for the ending, Awaken, the good ending. Alright, now you just have to sit through the credits. Once it's over, on the main menu, you're going to hit continue again. It's going to bring us back to our last save, and then we're going to use our empty bottle on the barrel of rum in the background and get some rum. Now we're going to head out of here and go up to the cabin. Talk to this guy over here. After you're done talking, you're going to give him the bottle of rum. That's going to end the chapter and bring us to the end and also give us an achievement. So same thing as before, once we can walk, we're just going to go in the lighthouse, talk to the two people in there again, and then we'll end the game and we'll get a different ending.
There we go. That's the achievement for Well I Tried. And that's the better ending. Now you just have to sit through the credits again and get back to the main menu. Now what we have to do is go through the game one more time. So we're going to start a new game. This time we have to go through and get the bad ending. It's going to be a lot quicker than the last playthrough. We got less to do. It's only going to be like 15 minutes. But yeah, first things first, we're going to go get the key so we can open the door. Use the key on the front door so we can get out of here. Go to the end of the road and talk to Kubi. Once you're done talking, you're going to go to the path to the left. Go to the house, look in the window, and then click on the door. And then go to leave so it opens up. And now head inside the house. After you're done talking, you can get out of here. Now head back to Kubi. Now what you're going to do is put the pendant in this thing here. And now that's going to end chapter one and it's going to give you an achievement. Once you're in control, you're going to make your way to the back door all the way to the left. Once you can move, you're going to go to the left and grab the fireworks. And then we're going to head inside. Answer the phone. Head up to the back wall and move the ladder so we can get the lighter. Now we can head upstairs. Use the fireworks on the stove and then use the lighter. Now we can head out front and get the key. Grab the key and then go back inside. Go upstairs. And go into the storage room. 
Whoops, wrong item. There we go, use the key. Once she's gone, you want to go to the toilet, get the crowbar, and now we're going to go outside and use it on the manhole. Head over to the top right and use the crowbar so we can open up the manhole. And then you can go inside. Go up and talk to the guy that's in here. Once you're done talking, you can head back up. Now go back inside the shop. Click on the shelf that's right here in the front. And you're actually going to get a bottle of torch oil. Which will give you an achievement. Now you're going to go back inside the manhole. Now this time don't talk to the guy, just go up to him and give him the oil. You're going to pour the oil on the ground here, and we're going to set up a trap for the girl. So once we're done, we're going to go head back inside. Go upstairs and go into the storage room right across the hall. Talk to this girl in here. Alright, once she leaves, you're going to go out. You're going to go back down in the manhole. They're going to be talking, so just keep hitting A and skip through the dialogue. Once you're done talking, you're going to put the lighter on the oil. And that's going to burn them up. Once that's over with, you're going to talk to him. And that's going to be the end of chapter 2. We'll get another achievement. Once you move, you're going to head out of your room and you're going to make your way over to the sink and then click on it and we'll be at the boat. Just like before, we're going to go get the rod here at the top left. And then we're going to bring it around to the opposite side and we're going to use that rod we just picked up on this oil barrel and that will give us a key. And then we're going to head into the cabin. Talk to the guy for a little bit. Once you're done talking, you're going to grab the empty bottle over here. And then we're going to get out of here. We're going to use the key on the lock like we did last time to go down. You want to save before you go down here. I didn't save. Um, it doesn't matter if you don't save. It's just good to save just as a backup. Um, the reason you want to save is because uh, Umbi talks to you down here. And uh, you can't talk to him any more than uh, just the one time. So talk to him and go through the conversation. 
and just make sure that uh, once the conversation ends to walk away and don't talk to him anymore. But I'm going to show you the part that you need to look for and uh, where we need to walk away. So just keep talking to him. We spirits are just as vulnerable. That's what you need to look for. Once he says that, then it's uh, right about to end. And then you're going to walk away. You're going to get the crowbar. And you're going to go up and use it on the box. I'm going to save here just in case. I only talked to him once. So if I accidentally click on him, I can reload my save. Should have done it before talking to him, but I missed out. <laughs> so use the crowbar and break the box here. And then we're going to go through. And we're going to open up the gate. Alright. Now we're going to come over here and we're going to get a bottle of rum. So use the empty bottle on the rum barrel. And then we're going to make our way back. Head upstairs and head into the cabin. Give this guy the alcohol right away. Don't talk to him. Once you're done talking, you'll get an achievement. And that's going to be the end of the chapter. And you're going to be at the very end of the game. Once you can move, you can head up to the lighthouse. And just like before, you're going to talk to the two guys. You're going to talk to this guy. Alright, we're done with this guy. Now we're going to go to the last guy. And there it is. That's the final achievement and our final ending, the bad ending. And that's it, guys. There's the full walkthrough for this game to get you all the achievements. I hope it helped you. Leave a like if it did. And I'll catch you guys next time here at Achievement Land.